I can still do a better job blending, but I'm just trying to make a difference. Oh yeah, there's definitely a big difference. Okay guys, Risa went and did a little bit more magic, as you can see. Hey, who brought these? A gentleman by the name of Alex? Andy. 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 So, Andy uh, saw, saw our uh, YouTube and saw our post, so drove all the way down from San Gabriel Valley to drop off his OGK. You can see the, the original condition. This was the one Reese did first. And this is what Reese said, you know what, I think I can do a little bit better. And he goes, you know what, sorry guys, I don't know if I made a difference. The guy's apologizing to us that he thinks he did, didn't make a difference. You guys tell me. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell. It's a huge difference. You can still see a little bit of the yellowing. This right here, That's like almost perfectly completely white. gone. Keep in mind guys, I really believe that Reese can Sounds like a girlfriend, always interrupting. So, I really believe Reese can do, like make it super white. But, you gotta, you guys gotta respect that. He's taking his time not to just destroy these things. He's taking step by step. I bet you if I leave this here for another couple weeks, you know, he, he's got a lot of stuff to do. Look, look at all this. We're, we're, we're nothing special. He's got, he's got his daily job. So if he went and did all that in between the time he goes and works, I bet you can get this super white. So this is, the, dude, I'm telling you guys, this is, this is about as good as it gets, in my opinion. So we're gonna go, we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna put it on the, uh, the white GT. The, uh, what do they call those? You know when people die and they strap the bike to the next to the, the road? Ghost bike. The ghost bike? Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna build a ghost bike. We got a ghost GT for four, everything's white, <laughs> you know? So we thought about this, we thought about this, okay? That's a very expensive old school bike. What if we took that, we, we put it on the side of the road? Would anybody take that? Or would we be like, hey, that's a ghost bike, I'm not touching that. Would you guys take it? <laughs> I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't take it. Would you guys, if you guys saw an all white GT sitting there, it, it might be somebody, it might be somebody's ghost bike. I don't know, somebody might die. Who would take that, come on. I know some of you guys would. So guys, this sums it up. We're gonna go and we're gonna put this back together. But you know what, Reese, you're gonna keep us uh, in the loops with these? Yes. You're gonna, so, so you're gonna get a, you think you get these guys even wider than this? I'm gonna do my best, yeah. It's all trial and error, so um, we're getting it better each time, and uh, I'll do my best with those. Okay, guys, Reese from Rocket Blasting here in, what's it, Fullerton or Orange? Fullerton. Fullerton. So follow, follow my man on here. Uh, I, I know I'm, we're already following you. We want to see these posted up to see how these do. All right. Because if they're better than mine, I'm going to bring it back. No problem. I'm going to bring it back if they're better than mine. You got it. All right, guys, look, we're back at the shop. You guys recall the wheel. We, we took it home from uh, Rocket Blasting from Reese. Did an excellent job. Um, but didn't really think about it. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was pretty secure, but notice how I didn't take apart the, the internals, because for some crazy reason I thought that you know what the process he used isn't going to get inside, but apparently it does because it does use a an abrasive media. So there was sand. There was some sand in it. So I'm, I'm taking it apart. I'm cleaning it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna reassemble it. And this wheel is gonna be good as new. And you know what, guys? We actually had a customer drop off a set of uh, another set of mags there. And Reese just sent it to me, and wow, it is even better than these. He's getting better and better. Give, give him a, a call, but you guys, look at this. I went, wiped all this clean. By the time I'm done, this wheel is going to be like new. New, guys. And then we're going to go and put it on one of the performers. We're going to finish building it, okay? Yeah, so if you guys are curious, I have done this before. I, we did uh, do it. At, it's up here this video right here and so basically I just got a solvent put this thing on and just kind of roll it around this is where you don't want to cut corners everything right there is all clean everything's clean so when I put in there there's there's won't be any crunching none of that I'm gonna pack it with some grease okay so clean it is see it looked like I put a lot and then what I do is I just I just kind of spread it and then I'll remove some of it because you don't want too much and there's no point of putting a lot in because once you tighten everything up, it's gonna push it out. There's nine on each side. Why is it nine and not eight? Like an even number? 
Hey man, I didn't do, I didn't design these. So we got right there, we got four, five, six, seven. <laughs> oh, well, it was. <laughs> Always dropping my marbles. This one right here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give this thing a little bit. Got, gotta put this guy in. All inside. Put the dust cover on. That's all this thing is, is the dust cover. Basically turn it by hand. You don't wanna use a wrench, just snug it. Okay, there you guys have it. Keep in mind, all this is all hand tight, and look. You, you don't want it to be super loose, you want it to be a little snug. Once it's like that, then now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to snug number 15. This is basically 17. And I'm gonna snug it up like that. Lisa almost ran over my dog covers. Dude, Lisa just pulled up. Look at that, guys. Butter! There you guys have it. Totally new, just like the day it came out of the OGK wound. Womb? Wound. wound. Womb with the B. That's what I said. He said wound, wound with a D. No, wound is a cut. Tell him. <laughs> wound. Womba. Womba. Womb, a like Roomba. Like, like a Roomba. <laughs> yes. yes. Like, a, like a Roomba yes. sound. It's called a Woomba. Yeah. <laughs> Not a called Woomba. <laughs> you were born a Woomba. <laughs> if you did, we wouldn't be correct. So guys, <laughs> what do you guys think? You know, the uh, the vapor honing technique and all that versus the bleach. Some of you guys said magic eraser. All those are all ways to work. It's just like when we did the how to put on the grips. There's plenty of ways. I'm not saying that this is better than the other or the other's better than this. I'm just saying this is one technique. But I did do, and you guys gonna see after this video, we do the GT Performer build, the 87. That gentleman went and bleached it. And he said himself, he goes, yeah, actually at $50 per wheel, I would have rather paid to get it done instead of going through what I went through. So that's his experience, guys. Let's hear your experience. Um, what in God's name are you guys doing? <laughs> you finished me. Oh my God! What? What is that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Hey, hey, what is that? What is that? Is that a butt plug? That looked like my butt after some oh, spicy chicken. End of video. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, and you guys ever want to know what it looks like when I no, use spicy guys, chicken? No, guys, don't run that.